Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Brooke Ashley. And today we are here to discuss the breaking news with the Cardi B and Tasha K trial. Child, I was editing my SLC video and all the nonsense going on on there when I got the breaking news that the verdict has been reached and Cardi B is the winner. I'm gonna read you guys the article right now. I have so much to say about this, but this is definitely a cautionary tale in watching what you say. This article is breaking news from Billboard. Cardi B wins million dollar defamation verdict against malicious YouTuber. A federal jury on Monday, January 24th, sided with Cardi B on her accusations that a YouTuber named Tasha K waged a malicious campaign to hurt the superstar's reputation, issuing a verdict that the woman had defamed the rapper and awarding the star more than a million dollars in damages. Following a two week trial that featured testimony from both women, the jury returned a verdict that Latasha Kibi, known as Tasha K, was liable for defamation and two other forms of wrongdoing over her YouTube videos and other internet posts, which claimed that Cardi B had contracted herpes among other unsavory rumors. Today's verdict awarded Cardi B 1.25 million in damages, but the total could potentially end up higher. Proceedings will kick off Tuesday to decide whether Tasha K owes additional punitive damages or whether she must reimburse Cardi B's legal expenses. Neither side's attorneys immediately returned requests for comment. Cardi B, whose real name is Belkhaliz Almanzar, sued Kibi in 2019 over dozens of videos that contained shocking claims about the rapper. One video cited in the lawsuit includes a statement that Cardi B effed herself with beer bottles on effing stripper stages. Others said she had contracted herpes, that she had been a prostitute, that she had cheated on her husband, and that she had done hard drugs. A trial kicked off on January 10th in Georgia federal court, during which both women took the stand. Cardi B testified that she felt suicidal in the wake of Tasha K's videos and said that only an evil person could do that ish. Tasha K initially admitted that she knowingly published lies about the rapper, but she later tried to walk back that statement when examined by her own attorneys. Ultimately, the jurors sided with Cardi B today on Monday, January 24th. In addition to defamation, the jury also held Tasha K liable for invasion of privacy through portrayal in a false light and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Tasha K's lawyers can challenge the verdict to the judge in the weeks ahead. If he upholds it, her attorneys can then appeal the verdict to a federal appeals court. Let me just say that this is a true shame and this is a warning that you cannot say whatever you want about somebody because you don't like them. I don't care how much you dislike a reality TV star or a celebrity or anybody. You cannot make up blatant lies to try to destroy the reputation or their character. This was out of line. Cardi B had already sent Tasha K three cease and desist letters prior and Tasha K laughed them off and thought that she was untouchable. Let this be a lesson to anybody who's a journalist, a blogger, content creator, whatever. If you are discussing celebrity news, pop culture, you need to be careful about what you say. You cannot add extra sauce to a story. I am not surprised in the least that Tasha K lost. When I was reading the transcripts, when I saw that Tasha K was proud of what she did, she was talking about, you know, I knew they were lies, but I told them anyway, because it's all about the clicks, it's all about the views, it's all about the money. And I saw that Tasha K was backpedaling about what she had said prior, I knew right then and there that this was going to be a win for Cardi. So I'm going to quickly read you one of the transcripts from Law 360. This is from last Friday. It says, when examined by one of her lawyers on Thursday, 
Tasha Kane said she extensively researched the herpes allegation and that she typically investigates all stories before publishing them as either fake news or real news. But on Friday, Tasha Kane admitted she's not a journalist and did not seek information or documentation to corroborate the allegations against Cardi B, even when another YouTuber said she had proof to debunk them. Tasha K admitted that she repeatedly published the allegations after being told by various people connected to Cardi B, as well as the rapper herself, that they were untrue. So that right there let me know that Tasha's goose was going to be cooked because there was substantial evidence and out of Tasha's own mouth that she was contradicting herself. I'm also going to read to you the instructions that Judge Ray gave to the jury on Friday. The judge spoke with parties before the jury entered the courtroom on Friday about his instructions to the jurors and how they would be worded. Judge Ray said there is no specific evidence of Cardi B suffering reputational harm from Tasha K's online content, and any compensation for that should be considered by the jury as part of general damages. The judge said, internet stuff never goes away, and it's possible the jury might consider Cardi B's future reputational harm if they find that Tasha K or her company liable. He said the current tide of cancel culture meant allegations against high-profile people, even if untrue, could be long-lasting and fatal to their careers. People can take down what they put up, but they can't take down what people have shared. I know a lot of people are not fans of Cardi B, and that's fine. But I am happy that Cardi B won. I think that this is very important to show people that you cannot lie on somebody without there being consequences. I review Housewives shows all day long. I have my favorites. I have my housewives that I cannot stand. However, you will never catch me putting some spin to a story. You will never catch me trying to lie on any of them. Ever. I think that this is a great wake-up call for everybody to really be careful about what they say. I think that Tasha K became very obsessive of Cardi B and her hatred of her just could not get her to see straight. And now she's in this boat where she has to pay Cardi $1.25 million because she's lost this case. I just think that people need to stop thinking that they are untouchable. You are never too big. You are never too famous or too powerful to be above the law. Wrong is wrong. Again, Cardi B has said and done quite a few questionable things. But you cannot lie on her because you don't like her. And that's just what it is. I also wonder what's going to happen with Tasha Kane and her husband. It appears that they both had different stories in court. I'm going to read you a quick excerpt from last Friday's transcripts. Cardi B's attorney, Sarah Matz, also questioned Tasha Kane about whether she or her husband had responded via email to the first cease and desist letter from their company's Gmail account. Tasha Kay had testified earlier in the trial that she did not have access to that email account, which her husband controlled, unless it was from his cell phone. Tasha Kay clarified on Friday that she did not have the passcode to her husband's cell phone. Tasha Kay also said Friday, it was her husband who received and responded to the letter. She also said her husband did not tell her about the response or send it to her, nor did she know about a reply from the law firm representing Cardi B at the time. But Sarah Matz pointed out that Tasha Kay had testified in her November 2020 deposition that she sometimes accessed the company email from a desktop computer. Matz also referred to deposition testimony from Tasha Kay's husband that Tasha Kay herself had replied to the letter and that it was customary for him to forward or tell her about cease and desist letters. Tasha Kay said Friday that her husband had lied in his deposition. She said the desktop computer was her husband's and she never used it because it was expensive and he didn't want anyone touching it. So right then and there, we see 
that there are some conflicting stories. She's throwing her husband under the bus saying that he's lying. I mean, what more can be said? I'm not gonna continue beating a dead horse. I'm not going to belabor the point. This is a cautionary tale of what not to do. Again, stop letting personal biases or jealousies or whatever you have going on affect you to this point where you have it out for a certain person that you're trying to destroy them. Clickbait views, some extra dollars in your Google check on the 22nd are not worth all of this. You end up paying for it in the long run. This wasn't worth it. Tasha K should have quit while she was ahead. I definitely see more celebrities following suit going forward because Cardi B has definitely made an impact with her winning this defamation case. It remains to be seen if Tasha K is still going to go forward with her YouTube channel. I think that this definitely is going to be a wake up call. I do hope that going forward, she changes her style and how she does things. I think it's a shame that she has to learn a very expensive lesson. But nonetheless, I really hope that everybody going forward can just stick to the facts, stop with the clickbait, stop with the lies, stop trying to make a story more salacious than it already is. I hope the best for Cardi. I hope that she and her family can move past this incident. I hope that since she has won this case, she can now feel more at ease and, you know, just kind of have some of that anxiety and that burden lifted off of her. But y'all, that's all I have to say about this. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye.